Nederland heeft maar één topprovider voor internet. Die moet nodig de nek worden omgedraaid. KPN doet het gewoon. Drie minutes nummer 1520 met een uitzending van vandaag 12 januari 2019. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be primarily in English. Data today is FL Digi Auto Switching. De data vandaag is in FL Digi met automatisch schakelen. Ik begin met het uitzendschema van Shortwave Radiogram van vanmiddag. En van een paar andere zenders. Daarna begin ik met wat ik vanmiddag op de korte golf van Shortwave Radiogram heb ontvangen. Let op, dit is niet helemaal foutloos ontvangen. Foutjes zitten dus niet per se in deze uitzending. Volgt nu het RSTB nieuws zoals elke week op zaterdag. Hello, this is Bob McCready, G0 FGX with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain for Sunday the 13th of January 2019. The news headlines, volunteers invited for National Radio Centre, IARU Region 1 consolidates project groups and the RSGB board and regional representative nominations are open. With 55,000 visitors to the RSGB's National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park in 2018, we're looking to recruit new volunteers to engage with the public and give radio demonstrations. If you're interested in becoming an NRC volunteer, you should be passionate about meeting people, feel confident explaining the hobby, as well as operating the NRC's radio station Golf Bravo 3 Romeo Sierra. You should be a licensed amateur, an RSGB member, and be prepared to work a minimum of one, preferably two, days per month. You will be joining a team of enthusiastic, friendly and dedicated volunteers and full training will be given. Travel expenses are paid to volunteers living within reasonable travelling distance and NRC volunteers enjoy numerous benefits associated with volunteering at Bletchley Park. Please email nrc.support at rsgb.org.uk for further information. nrc.support at rsgb.org.uk At the IARU Region 1 General Conference in Landshut in 2017, it was agreed to create three project groups to address issues of the future direction and growth in amateur radio across the region. These groups have undertaken some of the planned work, but because of other commitments of the project leaders, progress has not been as rapid as the IARU Region 1 had hoped. It was decided to bring the three project groups together under a single project manager, Mark Jones. Golf Zero, Mike Golf X-Ray has agreed to take on this role. Mark is already deeply involved in future and growth issues in RSGB where he is a board member. Mark can be contacted via email to mark.g0mgx.r1 at gmail.com. That's mark.g0mikegolfxray.romeo1 at gmail.com. And we wish Mark every success in this key role. RSGB members are reminded that nominations are open for RSGB board and regional representatives. Details are in the January Radcom and on the RSGB website. These roles offer a good opportunity to help the RSGB develop and promote amateur radio. Nominations close on the 31st of January. In America, the FCC is not processing any U.S. amateur radio applications as the partial government shutdown approaches its fourth week. For radio amateurs, the shutdown means that while the universal licensing system continues to accept applications for all valid purposes, the FCC will not review or act upon them until the funding stalemate is resolved. Newcomers who have passed the required examinations will have to wait until the shutdown concludes to receive a call sign and authorization to operate. License upgrades are are also on hold. Please note that the RSGB National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park will be closed for a private event on Tuesday the 15th of January. Outside of this, volunteers look forward to welcoming visitors seven days a week, especially RSGB members, who can download a free entry voucher for Bletchley Park from the RSGB website. On the 27th of December, a Soyuz launch deployed two German satellites, D-Star-1, Sparrow and D-Star-1 ISAT. The beacons have been successfully received from both satellites, which each carry a D-Star repeater. They uplink on 437.325 MHz and downlink on 435.525 MHz. The December Soyuz flight also deployed the UWE-41U CubeSat, which carries a 70cm AX25 digipad 
Peter with an uplink downlink frequency of 437.375. AMSAT Germany has reported that in-orbit testing of the P4A amateur radio transponders on SL2 has begun, but amateurs should not attempt to transmit on the SL2 uplink. When all in-orbit testing has been successfully completed, the satellite will be moved to its final orbital position at 26 degrees east and availability announcements will be made. Clublog's latest most wanted list generated on the 28th of December can be found at secure.clublog.org slash mostwanted.php secure.clublog.org slash mostwanted.php The information is derived from the half billion or so QSOs uploaded to Clublog and available for analysis. To improve quality, only QSOs that have QSLs confirmed are considered to be worked and the most wanted charts are rebuilt once per month on average. Now we've got the details of rallies and events for the coming week and the next rally in the diary is the Horncastle Amateur Radio and Electronics Rally which is on the 27th of January. It takes place at the Horncastle Youth Centre, Cagthorpe Buildings, Willow Road, Horncastle and the postcode is Lima November 9, 6 Delta Zulu and doors open at 10am. Advance notice now of the CW Boot Camp, which will be run by the GMDX Group. It takes place on Sunday, the 10th of March, at Stirling and District Amateur Radio Society, which is at Unit 68, Bandith Industrial Estate, Throsk, and the postcode is Fox Kilo 7, 7 November, Papa. This event is open to all, however, places are limited, so it's important that you pre register your interest by email to GMDX Group at gmail.com to get your event into radcom onto gb2rs and on the rsgb website please remember to send the details as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk we need to know about four months in advance for radcom now we've got the DX News from 425DX News and other sources. A group of operators will be active as Hotel 33 Juliet from Volcan in the Chiriqui province of Panama between the 13th and the 31st of January. They will operate on CW, SSB, RTTY and FT8 on the 160 to 10 metre bands with a focus on the low bands FT8. QSL via Logbook of the World, Club Logs OQRS or via Juliet Alpha 1 Hotel Golf Yankee. Jean-Pierre Foxtrot 6 India Tango Delta will be active as Foxtrot Golf Foxtrot 6 India Tango Delta from La Desirade Island, Iota November Alpha 102, that's in Guadeloupe, from the 14th of January to the 13th of March. Activity will be on the 80 to 6 metre bands using CW, SSB and various digital modes. It will also be active as Tango Oscar 7 Delta in the various contests, uh, QSL Direct to his home core. Willie Kilo Bravo 8 Yankee Romeo X-Ray will be on the air as 8 Papa 9 Charlie Alpha from Barbados between the 15th of January and the 4th of February. Activity will be focused on 20 metres and FT8 QSL to his home call. Gerard Oscar Echo 3 Golf Echo Alpha will be on the air as Hotel Charlie 8 Golf Echo Tango from Santa Cruz Isabella and San Cristobal Island in the Galapagos Islands from the 13th to the 25th of January. Activity will be on the HF bands and QSL is to his home call sign. Special event news next and Worthing and District ARC will be running a special event station to commemorate its 70th anniversary. This is going to be on the weekend of the 19th and 20th of January and they'll be using the call sign Golf Bravo 5 Whiskey Oscar Romeo. The station will be on the air on all HF bands, possibly 2 metres and 70 centimetres too and further details at the club's website which is wadarc.org.uk wadarc.org.uk Celebrating its 50th anniversary, Sweden's National Society for the Active Visually Impaired will be active as Sierra Foxtrot 50 Charlie Golf throughout 2019. QSL for that one via Sierra Mike Zero Bravo Yankee Delta. Please send special event details to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as possible for free publicity on GB2RS in Radcom and online. And remember that UK special event stations must be open to the public so our free publicity can help make your efforts more widely known. Contest news next and Sunday the 13th the Data Modes AFS contest runs from 1300 to 1700 UTC using data only on the 3.5 and 7 megahertz bands the exchange is signal report 
and serial number. On Tuesday, the 1.3 GHz UK Activity Contest runs from 2000 to 2230 UTC. Thursday sees the 70 MHz UK Activity Contest also from 2000 to 2230 UTC and both use all modes on the respective band and exchange is signal report, serial number and locator. On Saturday the 19th, the SSB AFS contest will be running from 1300 to 1700 UTC using the 3.5 and 7 MHz spans only, the exchange's signal report and serial number. Also on Saturday the 19th, the Worked All Britain 1.8 MHz phone contest will run from 1900 to 2300 UTC. The exchange is signal report, serial number and the WAB square. The UK 6 metre group marathon continues until the 31st of January using all modes on the 50 MHz band and the exchange's signal report and locator. The radio propagation report now compiled by Golf 0, Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3, Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4, Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 9th of January. The week saw relatively settled HF conditions after the effects of a geomagnetic storm that impacted Earth at the weekend had passed. The KP index was mostly around 1 or 2 thanks to a reduced solar wind. A small solar coronal hole did become Earth-facing on Wednesday the 9th, but its effects, if any, won't be felt until around Friday the 11th. The sun's disk remained spotless with the solar flux index around 71 to 72. The propquest.co.uk site shows that daytime critical frequencies remain around 3.5 to 5 MHz, although there have been some high spots where it has hit more than 6 MHz. These can spark short-term, long-range HF propagation at maximum usable frequencies of more than 18 MHz, so it is worth keeping an eye on the higher bands. Otherwise, the upper bands have been fairly lacklustre, with mostly contacts around Europe, as can be expected at this point in the sunspot cycle. Next week, NOAA has the solar flux remaining around 70 with settled geomagnetic conditions other than around the 16th when the K index may rise to 4 due to recurrent coronal hole activity. A check with the new animation facility at predtest.uk, that's P-R-E-D-T-E-S-T dot UK, shows that the upper HF bands currently favour one-hop contacts into southern Europe with occasional openings to North Africa. 40 metres should be open to Europe both day and night with the possibility of some weaker, longer path openings around sunset and after dark. 80 metres remains a good evening and nighttime band, but make the most of it now as the nights are starting to get shorter. Now the VHF and up propagation news and the weekend started with a residual high pressure area by now displaced to the southwest of Britain. This means that the bulk of the country is under a weaker ridge. This will obviously favour the western side of the country which is closest to the high for any tropo activity. As the week progresses the high weakens further and the pattern becomes more like a showery northwesterly with a little chance of tropo and rather more breeze especially over the north and down the eastern side of the country. This type of weather can produce an opportunity for rain scatter on the gigahertz bands as big reflective shower clouds drift past the coasts. We are in a quiet period of the year for meteor activity with a few major showers until April. There are though always opportunities for random meteor scatter contacts peaking around dawn when the Earth is rotating towards the main orbital flux of meteoric particles. Lunar declination is positive again so moon windows will lengthen as the week progresses and path losses will fall. Early in the week moonrise will be around lunchtime and getting later over the coming week. And that's all from the Propagation team for this week. If you would like to read a full transcript of this news broadcast, you will find it at the RSGB website under News. And if you want to hear the local news for your area, tune in to the amateur radio station that provides that service where you live or check out the RSGB website under News. I'm Bob McCready, G0FGX. This has been the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Nederland heeft maar één topprovider voor internet. Die moet nodig de nek worden omgedraaid. KPN doet het gewoon. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen.
De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl.
En microfoon naar de toer.